Welcome to a short tutorial on how to install an AMD Ryzen CPU on an AM4 socket motherboard. In this video we will show you all the necessary tools and the installation of the CPU together with the different AMD CPU coolers. To install the CPU we obviously need a CPU and the motherboard, anti-static gloves to protect the sensitive components, a screwdriver to secure the cooler, thermal paste if you don't want to use the pre-applied one, and a piece of cardboard to protect the table. In this case we use the packaging of the motherboard. To install the CPU simply follow these four steps. First lift the retention arm, align the little triangle on the CPU with the one on the socket and insert the CPU without pressure until it sits flush. Finally press the retention arm down again to secure the CPU in place. Now let's move on with the installation of the different CPU coolers. To install the Wraith Spire cooler, you need to loosen the four screws and remove the retention bracket. In this case, we only need the backplate. The cooler comes with thermal paste pre-applied and can be placed directly on the CPU. Now you can tighten the four screws crosswise to build up even pressure. Once the cooler is in place, all you have to do is plug the fan into the motherboard's fan connector and tuck away the cables for a clean look. But before we get to the next cooler, please like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to help the channel. Now let's take a look at the installation of the Wraith Prism Cooler. If you don't want to use the pre-applied thermal paste, clean the underside of the cooler and apply a pea-sized amount of thermal paste on the CPU. Before you install the cooler, make sure the retention arm is in the starting position. Hook up the cooler on one side and then attach the clip on the other side to the retention bracket. Now you can lock the retention arm with a 180 degree rotation. Once the installation of the cooler is done, the fan must be plugged into the fan connector of the motherboard. For full RGB glory, you need to connect a second cable from the fan to the RGB connector on your motherboard. To avoid any damage, make sure the arrow on the connector matches the 12V marking on the RGB pins. Now we can continue with the assembly of the PC, but you will see that in the next video.